Welcome back to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today we talk about The Cursed. So at the time of recording this, there's this huge buzz right now in the horror community, and sadly, it's not about this movie. It's about the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre that just dropped on Netflix. And that's great, I get it. It's a big IP, it's gory, it's bloody, and it's on Netflix where most people are able to check it out. I mean, most people have Netflix. But it's also a bummer to me, and it feels really kind of disappointing to me because it's kind of the way of things in the movie industry, and especially in the horror world. It seems like the majority of people, they go and check out these big IP, big buzz horror movies when the real gems go just completely under the radar. And at the time of recording this, this movie dropped in theaters today. I went and saw it last night at an early screening, and I was just absolutely floored by this movie. This was originally called Eight for Silver, and it released last year at Sundance. And it got rave reviews there and was picked up. They changed the name, they did a little bit of work, I guess they improved the special effects just a little, but I was just so impressed with this movie. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has really quality acting from everyone involved. Just everything about this movie is what I want in a horror movie. Now don't get me wrong, there's other kinds of horror movies that I love and have fun with and all of that, but if I'm going into a movie and I'm wanting to see a horror movie, and a movie in general that just sticks with me, it's gotta have story. It's got to have substance. It's got to have things that stick with me after I've left the theater. And this is one of those movies because this really stuck with me and it will. I'm telling you from the first few minutes, I knew this is a movie that's going to be in my top 10 by the end of the year. It just really has that special it to it. So the basic premise of this movie takes place in the late 1800s in France. And there's these barons, these owners of land, who basically have this chunk of land that's worth a lot of money to them. And there's this group of gypsies who lay claim to the land. They're like, hey, this is our land. You guys basically stole it from us. And the barons are like, they're right. This really is their land. But rather than giving up their land, they just massacre them. And it's done in the most brutal, savage, just heart-wrenching way. But then things get interesting because one of the old gypsy ladies puts a curse on these land barons and things get wild from there. At the core of this, this is a werewolf movie, yes, but it is not like any werewolf movie I've ever seen. And even though I'm saying that and that might feel like it's a spoiler, it's not in any way because you pretty much right away know that that's what this movie is. But. It's the way it's done. It's the way it's laid out. It's the way you see the things and the different wrinkles and strange differences between this and other werewolf type of movies you've seen. Because not only does this have a werewolf type of thing going on, it also has all these other elements, stuff that feels like a haunting, stuff stuff that feels very cursed and and witchy and just all these different horror things that are from all these different types of genres of horror are all packed into this one movie. It is absolutely so much fun, but it's also powerful and moving and disturbing, gory, exciting. It's really got all the things. In so many ways, it reminded me of an old classic horror movie because it really focuses on this story. And even though this movie has special effects and it has really brilliant gore at times, it even has some CGI that even though I'm not a fan of CGI, I thought the CGI was done well here, even though it has all those modern type of things in it and it's definitely not a slow, boring movie, it still really focuses on the story. It really feels in a lot of ways like those old 1930s horror movies, like Frankenstein, you know, the old classics that have this really tragic but beautiful story to them. There's just so many twists and turns as well to this movie, so many layers, because every time you feel like you know the direction this movie's going, another layer unfolds, and it just, you continue to just really kind of be pulled into this beautiful world that's constructed here. So not to get too long-winded, but I'm just saying this movie is amazing and one that you definitely should go and see in theaters because if you're a fan of horror, chances are you probably haven't even seen this video because 
I don't get a lot of viewers, especially on my review videos like this. But if you're one of those awesome people out there that support my fan, the ride or die people out there, thank you first of all so much for watching my videos. But second of all, take my advice and go out and see this in theaters. Don't wait to see it at home because this movie is breathtaking on the big screen and it's got a limited release and it's painful to me because these are the kind of movies we're gonna see streaming more and more and being in theaters less and less. And this is the kind of movie we still need to have in theaters. Even if it is a limited release, it still needs to be on the big screen. Anyway, rant over. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying not to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre because I plan to do a review of it this weekend. It's a fun movie, but it's not of the caliber of this. And so all I'm saying is, don't get caught up in all the hype and ignore something like this because this drops at the same time and it just breaks my heart because I'm like, guys, this movie is amazing. Please, 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 horror family, go and see this movie. It needs our support because it's so well done, so enjoyable. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this, but that's gonna do it for me today. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know if you have any recommendations because I love hearing recommendations from you guys. Also, if you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell because that is the best way to keep track of this channel and I post videos like this every single week. I also wanna give a massive, huge, enormous thank you to my family, to my, my core people, my patrons, because you guys really keep me going. And if you would like to find out more about becoming a patron, the link is down in the description. And like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember guys, horror can be fun. I will see you guys next time.